All right, ladies and gentlemen, John Sweet Pea here. It's finally time to put Dynasty Warriors free to rest. The grand finale of Zurong's campaign. And she's going to be involved in the siege of Heifei Castle, it seems. This is payback, huh? This could be interesting. Still, you know I'm going to win. So let's have a little fun while we're at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just flings her boomerang at Wu Boo's feet. So, here we are. The final map. Of my Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends playthrough, which thus brings my time with the Dynasty Warriors 3 to a close. We're going to be fighting the Allied forces. How are you also consisting of Wu Boo, which is a little bit worrying? Anyway, let's get the introduction. The Nan Man forces somehow rout the Wu army at Heifei, but in the process they take heavy casualties. In order to rest and heal their wounds, they enter Heifei Castle. And you do? Just as their wounds are healing, a commotion is heard outside. It seems a large force has surrounded the castle. As Zhu Rong looks among their ranks, she sees the faces of every female officer she had ever defeated in battle, all seemingly determined for a final showdown. And somehow getting along with each other? If that's not going to include Da Qiao or Sun Shang Jiang, because we killed both of them last time. Another ominous yet familiar face could be seen next to Diao Chan. That of the mighty Lu Bu, the greatest warrior of them all. As Zhu Rong and Meng Huo look at each other in bewilderment, they cannot help but wonder why people hold such animosity towards them. Thus, they head for battle once again. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe it's because you have smashed their kingdoms on what was little more than a family holiday with the Nan Man forces. Can't imagine that they might think of you as an invading force. Alright then, so there's Menkuo in the center. Of that fountain area, which would prove useful. There we are much further back. Never next to our husband, always separated at the start. And there's our generics. I have a bad feeling about I wish I had some playable officers. <laughs> on my side for this one, because this is going to get pretty rough. And for the allies... Oh dear. Well, that's just marvelous. Wu Bu is not only on the map, he's one of the commanders of the map. That's going to make things difficult then. And there's Diao Chan, who we defeated at Huao Gate. There's Zhou Yu, who he defeated in the Wu Navy skirmish, and his wife Sao Kiao. There's Sao Pi and Sen Ji, who he defeated at Qi Bi. And no doubt, we would have seen Shung Chan Jiang and Dia Kiao and Sun Se had we not killed them all previously. But I think who else might it be? Oh, we might see some other faces as well, no doubt there's not going to be six here. There'll be probably a few faces since the reinforcements are a theme this map. In the original uh, Dynasty Warriors 3 anyway. So, we must only defeat Wu Bu this time. Huh, that's kind of different. I thought it might be defeat Wu Bu and DL Chan, but this time we just have to defeat Wu Bu. I wonder if that will change eventually. We may have to defeat DL Chan. Oh boy, so I can't even get away with the fact he's a, one of two commanders, he's the only commander. So that means I have to fight Wu Bu with the challenge I'm about to explain on commander status. What a way to end the series, eh? Let's fight Wu Bu as the closer. Signs of a great hand to take on these challenges now at the same time. Alright, so speaking of challenges, I have two for this final map. I'm sincerely regretting having to do this one right now, but um, the first challenge was set by Lewis Bullock, which was to use the first weapon only on the last map. 
Goodbye, extra attack! Hello, first weapon. Oh boy. So item-wise, we're going to have to make a bit of a switch here, I think. Actually, maybe not. HP will be important. Attack, we're going to need all the attack we can get for the limited damage. Defense, obviously, is something on there. Bow defense, yep, pretty much. Move, nah, maybe we won't need to make an item change after all. I'm pretty much content with what we've got. <coughs> and the second challenge on the map, was, which is something I failed to do two maps ago, was to have the bodyguards only kill the officers and gate captains by set by that guy. You remember I didn't go too well last time in um, the fifth map. However, since then, I've done a little bit of training with the John Sweet Peabody outfit, and now they are at maximum power. All eight bodyguards, all maxed out on attack and defense with maximum points, using probably the best weapon, the Tiger's the Pike, they are pretty much maxed out. Best attack possible, best defense possible. I didn't put any points on Wife and Muzu, but they are going to be extremely dangerous, and they need to be this time around, or else this will be a very long mission. So, without further ado, Let's get this over with because I'm not really looking forward to finding Wu Bu. With the first weapon. With the boy guys having to do most of the work. They've got to impress today, that's all I'm going to say. And we get the Men of Intelligence. At least that's a good soundtrack. It's a song to listen to. My love! Hold on! I'll be right there! And you! I'm counting on you! Oh boy. Still, you have to be careful, especially of that move. No shit. Hey, don't let your guard down. Definitely don't let your guard down. It's Wu Boo of all people. You don't want to take any chances. We've already fought him once, as a matter of fact, so I know what we're in for. Pain and punishment. Now let's just hope that Wu Boo stays all the way over there and doesn't come out at any point. And before he does the complete opposite and just charges us immediately. We'll see. Now I don't have very fond memories of this map on the sides. Um, this map is ridiculously easy if you play on the Wu side of things. But if you play on the Wei side, it's essentially the biggest... Um, ambush in the game. So now you're about to see the bodyguards kicking some ass now. Because they're at max level, the AI is massively improved, as you will see. Combine this with the fact they have good attack, that's well, not too bad. Damage-wise, I suppose, from uh, Zurong, but this is not really that great either. I mean, it's going to take a while to kill anything, and... I mean, I'm glad the bodyguards are going to kill things, but still. So as you can see, look at how aggressive they are. They are elites at this point. They will pretty much act like the best AI in the game possible. For friendly, in terms of friendly forces. They are going to kick some arse. And what fitting way to finish this series and having the John Sweepy outfit kick ass at last. And what fitting way to have possibly the sloggiest mission with these conditions. But yeah, on the way side of things, which is seemingly what we're focused on, since it's all about attack versus defense um, in the original mission, and we're going to be on defense to some extent. This is a real sort it was a real slog. What, in fact, the most sloggiest mission in the game, yet to which we deal with a shit ton of everything. Look at that aggression. So nice to see. Considering how disappointing they were two maps ago, I've trained them well. Alright, so we've taken out the gate captain here. That should give us some relief from the rear. Of course, the main problem is clearing out everything around Meng Huo, as usual. Where is Wu Bu is now switched? Unnecessary bloodshed. 
Yes, again! Oh, hello, Zoyu. Not seen you for a while. Alright, so let's... Oh, damage is okay. It's not bad, actually. Attack isn't making... It... I think it's because we have a decent amount of attack stats that we're not doing as bad as I thought. But we also have our bodyguards to help us now. Yeah, okay. So as long as it's not, like, um, maxed out or anything, like a commander status, we should be okay. Look at that. Don't mess with these guys. They'll slam you in. They're covering for each other and everything. Look at this. They're tearing him apart. Look at that. Whoa, he's not getting a hit in. Kill him! Hey, leave him alone, you. I have trained them well. The only disadvantage is probably they don't have as much HP as I'd like, but I couldn't focus on everything. Alright, bodyguards, you have to wrap this up. Come on, guys. Oh, careful, careful. He's going crazy. Get him. Yeah! Take him down. Good riddance. Stupid archer, get out of here. Ha! Alright! Oh, no drop. Boo! Alright, score one for the bodyguard outfit. Now we're faking one of the DL Chan sub officers. Oh, that's strange. DL Chan sub officer is a woo sub general. Huh. Oh, Zhao Kiao's not happy at having her husband taken out. Might expect. Look at that! Look at that! So good! We're gonna rip him to pieces. Hey, come on, guys! Cover for each other! Yeah, there you go. Oh, I need to give him some health, though. If you've ever taken a bit of a pounding, need some health. Hopefully, there's a guard captain among this. Oh, goody. Reinforcements. Look at that. They're knocking him up all over the place. No mercy. Damn it, that guy's gotta go. He's starting to kill everyone. Alright. So, what? What was arrived to reinforce Wu Bu? Oh. No one in terms of officers, anyway. Just some other kind of backup, I guess. All he needs. There we go. I'll keep him in the fight. Okay. So, we've cleared out that. Now we need to go down to the um, bottom left of where Menki well situated and take out the next officer. But not waste any time with these guys, actually, because I'm really scared that Wu Bu's just going to suddenly come out of nowhere and uh, take out, charge up. I mean, he's kind of situated himself around the middle for now, but I have a feeling he's going to start creeping up towards that castle area in the middle. And God help us if he suddenly does decide to charge at us randomly, there's not a lot I could do. Well, I'd have to end this map real quick and... Ooh. My bodyguards may be tough, but it is Wu Bu we're fighting. He is no slouch. Still, I may have to use a lot of arrows on him. Arrows are a good way of killing officers sometimes. They do a lot of damage to them too. As much damage as they do to me, they do a lot of damage. It's time for you to win yours, Senji. And knocked up by a jackass. Right. So, more lady guards for Senji again. Alright. Need to rip her a new one, guys. Okay, good. She doesn't have ridiculous health either, which is good. So, with any work, the only one that will have a ridiculous amount of health will be um, Wubu himself. Grab that health. The bodyguards alive. They're going to be doing a lot of the lion's share of the damage and indeed keeping my ass safe. <laughs> Got her. I'll do what I can to keep theirs safe, of course. I'm going to problem with Senji's speed, mind you. But JMB's going to step in and do what he can. 
Oh, she's not walking. Big mistake. All right. Yo. Yo. Hey. Ah, damn it. Grr. No, you do not. Got a. Oh, man. She fucking killed one of them. Avenge his death. Get her. Get her. Come on. I can't let the other two No, fucking true Muzu. No, you don't. Come on, guys. You gotta finish her off. There you go. Fucking down to one seven already. Hey. Alright, we need to get some health again. Luckily, there's a guard captain nearby, so that'll be useful. Alright. Some health for my brave fighting men. There we go. Perfect. Alright, Senji is out of here. Now, who's next? Guess we'll head over to the right hand side and. Yeah, well, you attacked us for no reason, so I don't give a shit, Southie. Maybe you should have considered not attacking us, since apparent wheels invading constitutes a. Uh, the narrator explained there was no reason why the animosity towards us. We just wanted to take a holiday, man. Holiday in the kingdom. We thank you, man. Yo, all right, enough of that. Need to beat up this crossbow, man. Come on, glasses. There you go. Well, here's Sal P. He's not gonna be very happy with us. We killed his wife, after all. It's funny you say that now because she was with Cow Cow last I checked. This art is going to be a bit more of a pain to deal with. I'll prioritize him over the uh, South at this point. Even at this battle, I must prioritize killing the archers first. Alright, now we'll go for South P's head. Oh, he's back on his horse. Arrows away! Keep that. Alright. Okay, bodyguards, where you at? We got another victim to take down. Guys? Where are you? Guys, I need to finish this guy off. Guys? Guys, hey, hey! Bodyguards, please come over here. I don't need to kill this guy. Come on. I want him a little bit more, but come on. Guys? You do realize you're on a challenge, right? Guys? Guys, okay, guys, seriously, finish him off, come on, what are you doing, stop attacking the grunts and kill Sal P, now, look, he's nearly dead, you just need to hit him, minorly, get him, get him, come on, man, that's if these bodyguards would commit, hit me please, thank you, oh, did they actually get him? I don't know, I can't tell. There's a bit of a scroll. I don't know have iron jobs. I can't tell if he's dead or not. I think we might have got him. Oh, yep, he's been knocked down. Good job, guys. Maybe I would have won focused at times, but I'll be damned if they're not doing their job well. The seven that remain. Good old JMB. Not getting to be in the final flourish. Alright, this hasn't been actually a bad mission so far, actually. It's been alright. We've not had any nasty surprises. We've just had to kill them one by one. The Allied forces haven't been forced in some dick position, so it's been quite easy again. You lost to me a long time ago. So, you're going to lose to the same person you lost to at the Wu Navy skirmish. Ten months ago, or whatever. So, yeah, you're gonna lose again. Joy losing. Bam! All right, I need to. Okay, don't kill, don't kill. All right, guys, guys, come on. Time for super fan spinny attack. Koshu, yes. Koshu with the kill. Good job. Alright, so Kiao is out of here. Guess we don't get to see any death scenes since if bodyguards kill your target, you don't get the uh, death animation. Oh well. I'm sure we've seen all the death animations for a lifetime anyway. Alright, so 
Um, all that's left now is Wu Bu and Diel Shan. Huh. All right, we we'll got this wrapped up in no time then. Hmm, it's no little too easy. I'm suspicious that something's about to happen as soon as we start approaching the uh, Diel Chan and Wu Bu. Very suspicious that this mission's gone a little too smoothly for map seven. I mean, we've, had, we've had nothing. The only thing that's happened really is that um, a few reinforcements showed up from the boat. I'm actually thinking of going all the way down to the boat, sneaking past Wu Bu and just cut off that gate captain because fighting Wu Bu, I kid you not, will be no joke. I guess that's kind of the... That, that might be the cop-out, actually. The mission itself is easy, but then you have to defeat Wu Bu as the final commander. So there's your ending. Or whatever. Hmm. Alright. We'll kill Diao Chan. And then we will... Have to cough that gate captain. For Wu Bu. You need to be careful not to aggro Wu Bu. Oh, she's his wife now, huh? Okay. First time we've had him as a wife. Confirmed wife. She kind of just hangs around him a bit. I don't think it's entirely clear whether she ends up marrying Wu Bu or not. I don't know my law at this point, admittingly. So it could be that she does end up marrying him, but as far as I'm concerned, Dio Chan just kind of flirts with him a bit to get into his uh, good books. So that she can use him to fight off against uh, Dong Zhuo. I think perhaps maybe after that point she sort of comes to like him, respects his strength or whatever. So see how involved a lot in uh, other games and stuff. Oh, look at this! The knock up! The knock up! Okay, guys. Nope, last hit! Koa Shu with the kill again! Another victory for Koa Shu's. I think it's the second person he's killed now. Alright, excellent. Now, we're going to borrow this horse. Once we get rid of you, and everyone else trying to knock me off the horse. Get out of here, guys. Alright. I got some help. Okay. So. Now, we're going to sneak past Wu Bu. And take out that gate captain. And then we're going to finish... Oh, he's going to be mad. Damn you! You shall pay! I will never forgive this! There is no one that can stand against the two of us together! Ha 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 ha! The two of us are unstoppable! Okay! I was kind of, I kind of paused there because I wanted to hear what they said, but also I was kind of expecting something to happen there. So yeah, Wubu not too happy about that. Okay, so all we gotta do now is take out Wubu. All right, we'll have to cut this gate captain off. I won't need to kill all the gate captains because the others aren't being reinforcing. It's just this one I just want to cut off. I just want to really make sure Wubu's not getting any backup when we eventually surround him. <sighs> so, okay. Been a pretty smooth mission seven, really, at this point. Oh, oh yeah, I'm not supposed to kill the gate captains either, am I? Whoops, I just realized I'm supposed to let the bodyguards do that too. Okay, they can kill this one then, since it's the only one I've... No, oh, come on! You giant dick waffle. Does that have pick up the health item as well? Jesus. Okay, guys, you need to kill this guy for me. Guys. 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 That's it. Oh, you did. You nearly got there, Shani. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. There we go. Shani Merrick gets the kill. Alright. Good job. So now, it must have been a surprisingly tame Mission 7 for the conclusion, closer of the entire series. The only, <laughs> the only challenge that remains is to defeat Wu Bu. And you guys were late to the party. Oh my goodness. I have my first tier weapon and I'm being told to go fight Wu Bu of all people. 
No sub offices, so. This is going to be very, very awkward. I'm actually going to probably pop a save before we take this fight. Because of how immense the task is. And there's a good health recovery that we need. And I think it's just going to be Weeboo by himself now. Hmm. Let's just uh, trigger his little... The final greeting, shall we say. You will not be happy. Alright. Nah, go away, Weeboo. Go away. Go away. No, Goddy Guards. Please don't go near him just yet. Okay. Now we're gonna save. You think I'm gonna risk my entire playthrough for Weeboo? Nope. I want to make play it safe. Because this seriously could take a while. Now, the thing I have to note is that Wubu, we can't actually have the body cards kill Wubu, unfortunately, because, as you know, commanders cannot be defeated by anyone except the player. For some reason. <laughs> so all we could do is just whittle Wubu down. But that's a hard task. Especially since I don't have a much powerful weapon. There's a good chance Wubu's going to be at maximum power. We will have to see. This will either be really difficult, or really not that much. We will find out. But, we must try. Expect a couple of... Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Seriously? He doesn't have power armor? What? This has got to be a joke. You are kidding me. Wu Bu does not have his ridiculous... Armor? What? Are you kidding me? I can't believe this! I'm fighting with Boo and he doesn't even have his super armor or whatever it is that prevents him from being knocked down. This is embarrassing. We This is gonna be ridiculous we easy. Oh Wu Boo. What has happened to you, man? You used to be cool. You used to be powerful. You're being beat around by a first tier weapon. And about a zillion archers, to be fair, but still. Woo boo, what happened to you, man? You need to take some training. You got swappy. I'm gonna beat you up. My goodness, I can't believe. I did not expect this to be this easy. This has been the easiest map 7 ever. Man. Oh god, careful. I mean, he probably still has his high attack and stuff, but still. I've never had such an easier time as a final map. Man. I'm almost feel disappointed. I was expecting this to be a lot more epic. Instead, I'm just casually pummeling Wubu to death. And that's it. Go watch out for the true Muzu. Oh, he's almost dead. Uh-oh. Oh. That's it. Wow. Just... Wow. I am shocked at how easy that was. I am... really shocked at how easy that was. Well, we, uh... made that work of that mission. We took out the gate captain, the bodyguards took out Zhou Yu. And we took out Zenji. And we took out Sao Pi. And we took out Zhao Kiao pretty quickly. And we pondered around for a bit and then took out DL Chan. And then we took out the gate captain. If I'd known it was going to be that easy with Wu Bu, however, I wasn't bothered with that. And then we took on the mighty Wu Bu. But he wasn't really that mighty. In fact, it was more of an easy fight, and honestly, I could have killed him a long time ago if I'd known that. <laughs> wow, what a great anticlimactic finale this was. And I guess I technically didn't fully do that guy's challenge. I killed the first gate captain myself, but yeah, mostly did it. They killed everyone else, so, you know, I think I'll count that as a successful challenge complete there. 
defense attack. Mm, yeah, I'll go with that one. Whatever. Ooh. I'm getting some nice defense upgrades that we'll never use. And they're getting a Heavenly Spear upgrade, which will keep them on the attack. I feel. Alright! <laughs> we only got 47 KOs. And <laughs> the only worthy one was Wu Bu. He wasn't worthy! He was he was the shadow of his former shade. And there we are. You can see there the red um red text next to bodyguards means are maxed out, meaning they have maxed out attack, defense, and class. At least the bodyguard outfit got to kick some serious ass for the finale. They got to, they took out five officers. No, no six officers in fact. They took out Ding Feng as well. So all that time has paid off. They got to close on a high. Except for JMB being killed, but well, I'm sure he won't mind too much. So as you can see, we've got the highest score in this mission here. Didn't get anyone close to KOs. And not even the fastest compared to some Wu Boo runs. The main way one of those Wu Boo runs was uh, probably one of the training ones I did for the bodyguards. Wait a 13 minute one, actually, so. Alright, so that's it. That is um, Zurong's campaign finished, so let's uh, get a quad, let's see what we get for the uh, conclusion. Zurong, the Nanzong. The wife of Nanmon King Meng Tuo was said to be descended from the God of Fire, a master of projectile weapons who rarely missed her targets. Her bravery and prowess rivaled even that of her husband's. She defeated 523 at the Nanmon campaign, 108 at the Wu Navy Ambush, 145 at Chi B, 230 at Huel Gate, including taking on the more powerful version of Wu Bu, 220 at Hei Fei, 182 at uh, sorry, Hei Fei again. I can't remember what Map 5 was for some, some reason. And Hei Fei Castleway. Mightily defeated 47 soldiers, and my bodyguards probably got more kills than that. <clears throat> so it was that Zhu Rong successfully returned home to Nanzong, leaving in her wake the legend of the deadliest husband and wife tandem the world had ever seen. Zhu Rong, daughter of fire, unstoppable in battle, master of strategy, such deeds were unparalleled in her era, and with her husband she would ensure peace for the tribes of Nanzong. Thus, Zhu Rong will always be remembered as the ultimate warrior. Nice picture there. So, we get. Huh, and they retired home to the giant palace. Where Wu Bei is reunited with Shun Shang Jiang. Huh, this is for the afterlife or something. Kind of strange to see a male dancer actually on the stage for a change. Uh, Senji and Cow Cow. No doubt Sal P is very upset. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> You're just lucky she's good at throwing them, otherwise he'd be dead. Zhu Rong, why are you throwing knives at our men? <laughs> There's Wu Bu discussing tactics with Dong Zhuo. Our men calls a nap. Oh, it's hard work being the husband. <laughs> uh, so you're conversing with Sansei and Wu Zun just scuffles on by. I like that pose actually, that's pretty good. Oh, Zoo, the old uh, dog Zuo, you're so charming! Um, I want you to talk things to me. I love this ending, it's brilliant! <laughs> Later on, Wu Bei and Shun Zhang would go on to frequent many events in China. We would probably fling Dong Zhuo through the ceiling afterwards as well. <laughs> okay, that ending kind of made up for the disappointing final map right there. <laughs> ah, I'll let this, I'll let this uh, run to its conclusion since it's probably been a while since it's been seen. So that's it. That's been Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends. All the campaigns wrapped up. Zhang Jiao, 
Dong Zhuo, Zubu, Diao Shan, Wan Shao, Meng Zhuo, and Zhu Rong. It's been fun! Plus, I'll give my thoughts after the uh, music's played out. Again, there's the ending theme you're listening to now. Circuit by Yo Hitato. I won't say that for that by Omega Force. Alright. Enjoy the last time you see those credits. Alright. And that's it. And thus the Dynasty Warriors free ride comes to a close. All campaigns will be done. So that's it. Yeah. It's been a hell of a ride. Sorry it's taken so long to finish this ride, but uh, it's been good while it lasted. So, I guess I should give a brief summary of how I felt each campaign was. And maybe show off the alternate costumes. So Wooboo's campaign was the first one, and his campaign was awesome. Because Wubu is a ridiculously powerful character and is therefore in front of players, of course. Why not? And then I'm probably going to forget the order here, but I'll just go through them all anyway. <laughs> and then Dong Zhuo. Dong Zhuo's campaign was okay as well, from what I can remember of it. You can see this alternate costume. Some of the characters do have third costumes to unlock as well. This player was pretty sweet, nice to see the other end of the tail. I was branched off a little bit in terms of the uh, those missions. One Shao's campaign was pretty decent as well. Some nice reimaginings of some fights. He was a decent character to players as well. Oh, Zhang Jiao's missions were interesting. Oh, I want to focus on defending the people. I kind of like that as an ongoing mechanic actually in the um, the missions. Sort of like the mission of Shang Ban repeated over several other missions. It was a nice touch, really felt with his character, I suppose. But by far the most goofiest campaign goes to Menkuo by a mile. His campaign against Zuge Ryong was absolutely ridiculous. Right, the alternate goal was uh, pretty sweet. So, for me, Menkuo had the best campaign in the entire series. Zurong's was... Okay, I suppose, but... It kind of felt like the last two maps were a bit too easy. The difficulty was a bit weird. It's kind of like they were difficult around the mid game, but then map six and map seven were ridiculously easy. Not really, um. Too much challenge. I'm really surprised how map seven. how the uh, Heifei Castle map ended. That was way too easy. I think we should have been buffed to max for that. And DL Chan's campaign was good, mainly because DL Chan's escape was a lot easier. Her. And she had a nice conclusion as well, as such. <clears throat> so yeah, all seven cleared and sorted, counted for. So yeah, that's it. That's the entirety of the Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends and Dynasty Warriors 3 as a whole. What do you all think of that final map? What have you thought? of the series as a whole, in general. Has it be has there been any campaign in particular that impressed you? Maybe you were a fan of Zahun Dun's campaign from the very beginning. Maybe you hold a fondness for Hung Guys. Or maybe you really did like Zurong's campaign after all the husband and wife tandem stuff in it. I'm sure you have many thoughts to ponder. Many memories to share. Now, what I'm gonna now the next thing I'm gonna do after this series, uh, some people have commented with 
I think a few of you would actually like to see Dynasty Warriors 5 as the next game I let's play from the series and maybe skip 4. One of you have said maybe to try out uh, 4 Empires for a change. I've not really heard anyone saying Dynasty Warriors 4 would be a decent pick, but um, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. I'm not going to commit to any future Dynasty Warriors game at the moment. Because the next thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to focus on completing Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. So you probably won't see any Dynasty Warriors content for about a month or so while I wrap up what is a very lengthy uh, game. But I, only, I feel it's only fair that since I've given this my undivided attention, it's now time to give the uh, Dark Alliance fans some attention as well. I might consider doing some streams of Dynasty Warriors stuff. Maybe not going to promise anything on that front. Might do some fourth weapon stuff on my Twitch channel, perhaps. But other than that, this is going to be the last time I play this in wet play form. So um, let me know your comments below. Thank you very much for watching throughout the Dice Warriors 3 and Extreme Legend series. And I will catch you all next time for a new Dynasty Warriors game of some description. Or some kind of Warriors game. Who knows what I'll do next. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Thanks, Warriors fans. See you later.